welcome back to our class don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time to visit our channel when you talk about pupillary mechanism it's the process by which the diameter of the pupil is being changed you find out that students tend to misunderstand the pupillary mechanism uh, and the accommodation basically in accommodation you have to talk about the lens, you have to talk about the suspensor ligament, you have to talk about the serial muscles. While in the pupillary mechanism, in this case, you talk about the muscles in the iris, and you also talk about the pupil. How much light is entering the eye? That is what you call pupillary mechanism. So it's the process by which the diameter of the pupil is, is altered to control the amount of light entering the eye. How much light is entering the eye? So, in this case, the light can be uh, changed depending on bright or it is in dim. So, during bright light, then it means that more light is entering. And then during dim light, it means that less light is entering. So, now the eye is supposed to adjust so that at least it's the same amount of light which is entering the what? Which is entering the eye. How does that eye do this? During bright light, the radio muscles of the iris relax. And then the circular muscles of the iris contract. When they contract, the pupil constricts. It means that it gets smaller and then less light enters the eye. How do we explain this? Why are these ones in different color? I can say that R goes with R, C with goes with C. R with R, C with C. What does it mean? I mean this. R, which is radio, goes with relax. And then C, which is circular, goes with contract. Radio muscles relax, and then circular muscles contract. Simple. If they contract, then less light enters the eye. That's what we need from there. So if you look at circular muscles, they call them circular muscles because they are in circulars. They are like in circles. So that's why it's called the circular muscles. And then radio muscles, it's like a radius. So that's why it's called radio, radio muscles. When the radio muscles uh, relax, when these muscles relax, then the circular muscles will contract. When this one, now this one is will contract. When they contract, what happens? It means that the diameter of the pupil, the diameter of the pupil will decrease. And then when it decreases, it means that less light will enter the eye. So it means that it's pushing this into the middle so that now this hole is what is small and then less light will be entering the eye. So that is R with R and then C with C. You just need to know this. Radio muscles relax, circular muscles contract. Less light, the diameter of the pupil become, uh, reduces and then less light enters the eye. Simple. That is bright light. What about dim light? In dim light or dim conditions, what happens? The radio muscles will contract and then the circular muscles will relax. It's just the opposite of the other one. So the pupil dilates. When dilates, when you talk about dilation, it means that it becomes bigger. It increases in size. It becomes wider. And then, then more light will enter the eye. So what does it mean? I mean that now, if you look, compare this one with the other one, compare this one with the one in, in bright light, you find out that the pupil here is big. Even this distance, you see that is it's, it's big enough. So what does it mean? So I can abbreviate it that radio with the contract and then circular with relax, which means that R with the C and then C with R. I always say, I tell my students, I'm bright like a star. I don't mix things up. When you mix things up, you mix things up in dim, in, in darkness. It's when you mix things up. So in bright light, I don't mix the things up. So the R will go with the R and the C will go with the C. While in dim light, because I mix them up, R will go with the C and then C will go with the R. That's the meaning. So uh, it shows that during dim light, we require more light to enter. That's why now the pupil is supposed to become bigger, or it must dilate so that more light can enter to maintain the amount of light, how much light is entering the eye. So it must be kept constant. That's why when there's too much light, when there is too much light outside, then it means that the eye must constrict so that less light is entering or the same amount of light is entering.
So uh, uh, basically, if you look at this, you can compare now them. During bright light, it looks like this, the pupil is small, while dim light, the pupil is big. You see it diagrammatically, if you look at it diagrammatically or structurally, you'll find out that these ones, the spaces here and the spaces here are not the same. You see that here, uh, the space here, the amount of light entering here is, 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 is little or the, the space where light is passing is small compared to this. So I'll say that this one is, has constricted while this one has dilated. So basically uh, that's what you need to know during dim and bright light. During dim light, uh, more light enters the eye while during bright light, less light enters the eye. What are some of the items?